Hi guys and welcome to thrustzone.com. This is Mohit Soni. What you are going to look at is the Audi Q8 e-tron and the Q8 e-tron sport bag that has just been launched in the Indian market. The prices start at 1.13 crore rupees and go all the way till 1.36 crore rupees for the sport bag 55 e-tron variant. Uh, variant by variant, there has been an increase between 10 to 14 lakh rupees. Uh, but uh, the changes on the new facelifted version here already make the car that has been so impressive, so good for Audi in terms of sales that you know they've decided to make it even more better. There is a new name. The earlier it was just called the e-tron, now it's called the Audi Q8 e-tron. So uh, you know you're going to expect to see the Q4 e-tron, the Q6 e-tron that is going to come in the Indian market soon and global markets as well. Right now, uh, you know usually certain cars are ready. Uh, you know in the global markets before they come to India but they're not ready yet so we think Audi will uh, you know capitalize on the e-tron sub brand that has been doing so well for the uh, you know for Audi that they might uh, bring those as well so this naming structure paves the way for Audi to come into India with more models let's now discuss what the Audi Q8 e-tron has to offer in terms of design the front fascia has changed the new headlamps are spectacularly good they've got a lot of LED DRLs on it that are brand new and refreshed they show projections at the night once you start the car for the first time and the grille has been designed uh, entirely new you get a brand new 2d logo on the uh, car and uh, at the side profile and the rear profile pretty much stay the same uh, what you are getting with the q8 e-tron on the inside and outside are uh, you know subtle changes but it's the part in that's the bigger highlight here uh, it's offered with an impressive 140 114 kilowatt battery which is industry best and i think it comes close very close uh, to the mercedes eqs uh, which is available in the audi q855 e-tron and uh, you get a claimed range of 600 kilometers we are going to see at least 450 to 500 in real life so that is a very good number for an suv uh, Meanwhile, uh, this is for the 55 e-tron. The 50 e-tron is also imp uh, quite impressive. It also gets a 95 kilowatt battery, which makes the, the similar horsepower and torque before, like before, uh, 340 bhp and 664 newton meters of torque. It's got a best-in-class ground clearance of 226 mm, which makes this car a very good car for our conditions. That's what we said when we drove the Audi e-tron back in 2021. That strong point still remains. Uh, you've got on the inside. The inside hasn't changed much. But uh, what you get now is a Bang & Olufsen 3D premium sound system, the Audi virtual cockpit, 360 degree cameras, park assist so it can park on its own with minimum inputs from the driver. The bigger highlight of course is an 8 year uh, voltage parent, uh, battery warranty which lasts up to 1.6 lakh kilometers, a complimentary warranty of 2 plus 3 years uh, and which can be extended up to 7 years. You get 1000 charging points listed on the Audi app. And uh, you know there are two chargers that are going to be offered with the Audi e-tron which is an 11 kilowatt and a uh, 22 kilowatt. The 11 kilowatt will charge it in 8 uh, hours while the 22 kilowatt will charge it in just 4 hours. Within almost 4 to 5 hours you will get 500 kilometers of range so I think that is spectacularly well done. Uh, so there are a lot of options to choose from the Audi Q8 e-tron 50 and the Audi Q8 e-tron 55 in the normal SUV form as well as in the sport bag form. I think that's a really impressive feed because you get to choose what car do you like because the part range is the same so i think that's a big defining factor for audi here bringing in two body styles offering them from the you know get go that's what's making the audi q8 e-tron very impressive this is one of those distinct advances that audi has they're using it really well around the globe and india so that makes the q8 e-tron very impressive and uh, like I said, the pricing has gone up by 10 to 14 lakh rupees. Um, if I were to be uh, a little bit uh, critical about the Q8 e-tron is the fact that the interior hasn't changed much. Uh, and already the interior was a bit of a talking point because it didn't feel like, you know, it was of an EV car. Despite it was a brand new approach, it is still is, uh, you know, it's still very modern, very uh, up to date, up to Audi portfolio standards. But uh, it could have done with more changes. Apart from that, if you know, if it's not broken, if the customers seem to be liking it, uh, you know, there's no problem in that and that's the reason why Audi is maintaining that interior and uh, Audi has a reputation of changing interiors dramatically in facelifts. So we won't be surprised to see a brand new interior in the Q8 e-tron in the next couple of years and when that will happen, that will take the Q8 e-tron's game to the next level and uh, that is of course, uh, you know, for a story for another day and uh, yeah, that is what the Q8 e-tron is all about. We'll probably drive it uh, in the near future and tell you more about it. Until then, thank you so much for watching. Follow us on our social media and website for everyday updates. Goodbye.